I'd now like to move forward 600 years to Fibonacci uh, or Leonardo of Pisa. And he wrote this important book that I mentioned before called the Liba Abaki, or Abaci. Uh, it's the book of, of, of counting. Uh, and it was designed to introduce and give practice in the Hindu Arabic numerals that we, that we tend to use, to, to use now. Uh, because these numerals had come from, um, uh, from the east across the top of, uh, of Africa and then up into southern Europe, into Spain, but also into Italy, uh, which is how the Fibonacci came to, to hear about them. So he wrote this book. And in this book, you'll see several different puzzles um, or problems. I mean, here is one which is not the most exciting one, but it's, uh, but it's quite interesting how it's solved. Um, there is a tree. A quarter and a third of it lie below ground. And that's 21 palmi, which is obviously some measure. How tall is the tree? And the method of solving it is called the method of false position. You guess an answer. And then if it's not right, you have to scale it up or down. For example, uh, what would you guess? You might guess 12. You guess 12 because 12 is divisible by 4 and 3. OK, so, um, so you guess 12, and this gives you 3 plus 4, which is 7. We've got 7, but you really want 21. So you obviously scale it up by, by, by a factor of 3. So instead of 12, your answer is 12 times 3, which is 36. And in the uh, Libra Ibarki, you'll actually see not only the, the problem, but you'll see the fully worked out solutions that Fibonacci gave. Um, a slightly more interesting one uh, says that if a lion eats a sheep in four hours, a leopard eats it in five hours, and a bear eats it in six hours, poor sheep, um, how long would they all take together? And again, so this is like this one about Polyphemus, isn't it, with, 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 with the different spouts and the, and the cisterns and everything. And the way to solve it, uh, as Fibonacci explains, you, s you look at see what happens in one hour. And in one hour, uh, they eat... Uh, well, the lion eats a quarter of a sheep, and plus a fifth, plus a sixth, uh, the three of them together. That's this number of sheep. So this, this is what they eat in one hour. Um, the number of hours they take to eat the whole sheep, you just take, turn it upside down, and you get 60 over 37, which is 1, and 23 over 37 hours. And that's the answer that's given in the book.